Hey, uh, Logan's birthday is coming up. <clears throat> I, I need toy ideas. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, KC. Okay. So, what do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. Okay. Hello and welcome back to uh, Alan Wake 2. Uh, I've been sitting here for a while and they haven't said a word. And then all of a sudden, right when I start recording, they're, they're like, okay, uh, let's have a conversation. Interesting. Uh, it's like they knew. So, in the last one we started the game, we got to see that the, the victim getting <laughs> coming out of the lake and, and getting murdered, and then we looked at his body and stuff, but uh, we eventually realized it's Nightingale, and now we're taking off from here to Bright Falls to talk to the witnesses who who lived. They didn't go after the witnesses, which is weird. Um, but I... I'm very comfy in the recording now. Uh, this game is is very well optimized for recording, apparently. So um, I won't be nearly as stressed, I, I suppose, when recording this. I could probably move myself down for scenes. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Me too. I'm thrilled you're here for this mystery too. Oh God. Need Bright to Falls. Need to lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Don't, don't tell me we can actually just straight up walk around town. We're never gonna get to story if you if you do this. Uh, I will be moving a little quicker than before because I, I didn't get much front. done last Shouldn't time. Keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. <laughs> I didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to last time. Uh, but what can you do? Tapio's weather report. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, right. We don't have a map of Bright Falls yet. The, oh. The victim was one of their own. Oh, uh, okay, FBI okay. Let me, I can skip this, Robert right? Nightingale. Gun. Okay, so we can re-listen to those. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deer Fest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. Okay. She never responded. But I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Yeah. That definitely seems to be on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. Well, Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they have one float in the shape of a swan. Oh, really? And everything a very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans? No. Okay. Is that the whole thing? It's 
Okay. <laughs> that was... That was something. Wait, or no. Uh, there was another radio thing, though. Various artists. This is going to be a song, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We're not... We're not, we're not going to listen to the music, that's for sure. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay, I got to remember I need 12. I think I'm going to get more bullets the, when, when I get the chance. But we haven't we haven't been able to do anything, so it doesn't matter. All right, so... Oh, no. Are you... Is that why I got the music? Because it was playing over there? That would make sense. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hey, can we talk to just people? I don't think we've ever, like, walked around Bright Falls during non-shenanigans. Oh. Can't open this with my bare hands. I don't know if you'd... You'd be breaking the law if you tried to get in here right now. What's back here? Nothing. We can't even interact with this. We'll never go back there. Ever. I need to find a map. I bet they're going to have one at the diner. Uh. Hi. Oh. You finally said something. This is the lodge. But we needed to go to the diner, so I, I'm safe to walk in here, I think. So sleepy. Let me just point just this in your eyes. More days. Okay, so we can't we can't talk to you. I don't believe we've ever been over here. Once again, I feel like we're breaking the, the law here, but Video game logic? Do you have reflections? Uh, not quite. Ooh. Go steal someone's lunchbox here. Oh. It's weird that... Oh, you did say something. It's weird that, like, we can't actually talk to people. Just kind of feels like we would be able to. Oh! Cauldron Lake. Look into news and rumors. Focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from New York cult. Similarities. Uh, commonalities in methodology. Part of series. Find out name of good coffee. <laughs> from Diner. One sec. Uh, speaking of coffee, I just had a coughing fit. Not related. Oh. It's so dark here. Wait, can I just, like, burst through doors if I sprint at them? Hold on. Oh, well, I, I thought that's what happened over there, but I guess not. I can't get through this. Okay, the rest are locked. Wonder whose room that is, then. Piano? Can I play? No. I can't force it open. <laughs> Take care now. Thank you. This man dancing alone. What are you dancing to? Take it easy. Is there supposed to be music in here? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Whose office is this? Victim, murder, methanol. Wait, did we rent out this room? Is this ours? This is the mine, pal mine place. Isn't it? Ho ho hold on, hold on. Sure looks like it.
Yeah, and then the case board is uh, entirely different here, but but still. Huh. Okay. That's why it's private. We've, like, rented out the back area of the lodge. Well. That's why your mind place looks the way it does. Welcome back, Anderson. Thanks. Flooded. Hey. At least they say hey when you walk by. Make it feel a little alive. How much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> can can we get that? Not enough. That's how much. Can, can we get coffee? coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. I thought we were going to get coffee. He mentioned coffee. Guess not. All right, we'll interact cutters. with that. I need bolt cutters. Thank you. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect, really. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours I'll be back in a offer. second. The happiest Roger. day of the year. Like Christmas, but better. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I hate the holidays. That's fair. I'm no, not a fan of them either. Day after the festival? It's known as the stay in in and eating your body weight in pancakes day around here. Hi there! You need to recover What's going on with this? Well, I've got plans now. Everything's closed up here. The diner's right over Welcome here, but... Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, oh there's a map. Washington's finest. Okay, this oh oh a lot is uh Valhalla nursing home. Is that where Odin and uh, are Odin and Tor still there? Sheriff Station. I'm sure we'll get to look around after. I really wanna Oh wait. Point of interest. Okay, maybe. Give me one sec. So the icon was somewhere in this first room, I think. Or was it the second room? Are you just talking about that note? Is that all you were talking about? Is that why I came in here? I can't tell if I'm on top of it uh oh god oh god it's dark in here i just wanted to see point 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 of interest point of pointlessness i get it was just that note i figured it would go away if you already interacted but oh well uh what was their name rose is she gonna be in here? Did you get lost, Anderson? Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Uh, father or brother or husband of Sarah? I don't remember. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but <laughs> you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what Wait. I have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. That's, uh, isn't that... We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. What's his name? Aaron Ashmar. That's his name. Sure. But it's is that him? Ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Looks like him. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Kind of sounds like him too. Hmm. I wonder if that's him. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. 
Wow, this diner is dead uh, silent. Everyone's silently drinking. Oh my god. The jukebox is out of order. Portal thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over and over. As uh, I'm as big of a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> The amount of times they probably smacked this thing to get it to to play that song. I'm glad it's not playing, so I don't have to edit any music out. Rest easy, buddy. Wait, don't can I do a quick turn? Yeah, it's a double tap back to quick turn kind of a weird motion blur on it but can't open this with my bare hands wait this is this bathroom is totally different the mirrors used to be on that side right or was Alan did Alan go into a different bathroom what is it that bathroom it might have been it's not opening. That's where we first spotted the darkness. Wait, wait, I, I had another person here. Why is there another another point of interest popped up? What? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Well, why were you at Cauldron Lake might be something to stress about. Uh, can you tell me what you saw? So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Cult of the then tree? We and called the cops. But they, they yelled? Uh, why do you think it was what a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? They said so. The masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was... Terrifying. You found a what? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down mm. at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. I believe you, for the most part. Uh, no, no, we gotta go to here. <clears throat> Oh, we do have another lunchbox to add to. Point of interest cases uh, track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Oh, these are both at. Can I zoom out? Wait, uh, do That's I do right. I just? I haven't put anything on here yet. Uh, I just have to put that there. I don't know why it sent me way over there, but. The note inside says, we're in this together, hero. What do they mean? Who left this? <laughs> the note inside ma mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe it's just a coincidence? It certainly could be. All right. Uh, the uh, Cauldron Lake murders. Bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing into the guy with knives. Uh, actually, no, this would go in, 
the the specific murder, I assume. Uh, the victim? Actually, no. These are all green, so I highly doubt. Yeah. No. It, it won't even let you bring it up. Okay, so. Hmm. Killer profile. Cult. That makes sense. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Which is almost more scary to deal with. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Like the swan float. <laughs> I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Oh, oh. Okay, wait, hold on. What kind of cult? Cult's goal and who's involved? Okay. Cultists were wearing deer masks. Boop. Cult psychology. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to o operate openly. Connection to deer fest. Yeah, well, it's, it's got to be locals. Although, from what I was, like, watching back, they were straight up, like, the Taken. Triangle figures made from twigs. I think that would go under the kind of cult. Huh. Yeah, cult symbols. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feel, feels derivative. Like something out of a horror movie. Large amount of supplies laid out on a table. Uh, definitely psychology again. And this is a lot of equipment just laying around. How long have they been out here? Oh, that's the thing I picked up when I was... Uh, or is it? Maybe it was. I remember in the convenience store there was a... That whatever I picked up, it was like chips or something. All right, and we can profile them. Cult. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. I'm a little confused about, like, the words she's putting in people's mouth in her head. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Yeah. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. That's reasonable. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Hold on, before I pick this up, how did you d know Necklace specifically, though? The Cult of the Tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The Cult wants their spruce tree back. She put words in their mouth and then got it right. Is this like Alan telling her? Like writing in? What what that the these little profiling thoughts or something? I I, I I don't know how she would even have considered there was a necklace. Huh. Interesting. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Oh, it's not her. Town for now in case we have oh, that is her. Questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear God. Oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. What? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. 
Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. <laughs> and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. Uh -oh. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, my mind is my mind is melting. Um Rose looks different. How did she used to look? Hold on. Okay, it's extremely pixelated, but she looks entirely different. Wow. Okay. At least in my opinion, I don't know. I guess it has been 13 years. People people change a lot in in that time. Uh how do we know each other? So Rose Help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything strange? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to oh, know. Good. Uh, okay. She was she was losing her mind before. So, so I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Has anything updated here? I know I picked up something about Rose, but I don't think it's something I can put in. I can put this in though. A cult necklace with a triangle symbol would be under there. Yeah. It really can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride? Maybe. Uh. No? The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Interesting. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Oh. Uh. Okay. Exciting. A not a lone killer, but an organized group called through the Triggy. This case just got more interesting. Start a new file. Start fresh. Um, ah, there's the new file. So we can see if there are, there are zero clues right now, but... Oh. Oh. We already kind of did this, but I didn't finish the other one apparently you have to finish it out with the case closed picture or something all set my guys have nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look let's go well casey i got a lead looks like we're dealing with a cult i thought it was going to be the a cult week of the tree a murder cult fuck have you heard of this cult of the tree sheriff only the urban legend if you're in the woods at night the cult will get Hold on. Bunch Park was relocated here as a, our small town keeps growing. We are sure you'll find this place. Placement for every park. Every bit as wonderful and relaxing as the previous one. Welcome to the new improved one. <sighs> okay, they, they, they aren't talking. I, I didn't want to run over here if they were going to keep talking. Tweet, tweet, my sweets. Heard any good news? Now why'd you go and do that? Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. Uh. If not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. Oops. A little cuckoo, if you will. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't mean to. The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting, and, and they, they end, end in the end. end. 
I found the cultist. They are in the park. Nothing. You got nothing. Either that or these people are just. Why are they, why 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 did they do that? Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Who <laughs> else to protect its citizens from the dangers of unsanitary morning, conditions? Jeff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. See ya. Uh, I don't think there's going to be as much missable hey, stuff as there were. Waitress from the diner. <laughs> in the first one. Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Yeah. Hold on. I I want to walk around I don't know, for a minute. Yeah, I don't know sorry. why I'm so drawn to every corner of this town. It's ridiculous. I just want to walk over there. No particular reason. Hey boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, sheriff. I thought it was going to be a week, though. Like, what? Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. Can I, uh... Oh, I can. They locked up an innocent man. You sure you're innocent? Can't talk to him. I swear I didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. What did you do? Me, right? Not unless you say what you didn't do. Uh, never mind. It won't open. This looks somewhat familiar. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from the stock. Damn, every day? That is taken seriously around here. It is a sheriff's station, for Pete's sake. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> No yeah. speeding happening here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. Have a nice day. Okay, I, I, I actually, yeah, no, this is the same layout, I think. Uh, Agent somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, Alan uh, got looked at by a doctor. The investigation oh, is being taken quite. over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. I just stole your painkillers. I'm being serious, Nelson. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> if only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. <laughs> oh no, a bear. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh my god. It's somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best copy roaster slash tour guide by Copy World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But wow. Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government, and that's why 
at Coscoa Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, but the government. <laughs> we have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Oh, my God. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. This is this is amazing. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. Wow. Uh best best commercial I've seen in years, I will say. That was that was glorious. So we share a uh, with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I'm watching all of them. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Okay, so the coroner is still gone, but we can we can do it ourselves. We just Something you know more open every door but the right one. I can't say I feel this. Ooh. Loot. Oh, damn it. Oh, we have the cult necklace on us. Wonder what we could use that for. Loot. One of these days we're going to actually use our gun. Hold on. It doesn't Damn. budge. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Mm. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. It kinda sounded like you said in external. Uh I may I may have misheard though. Oh hello. Nothing? What? Must be locked from the other side. Okay. Sorry, just fully, you know. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing Heart. on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? I don't know. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. He did? Uh huh. Ugh. They did leave something inside his chest. Uh, whatever it takes to not look at that anymore. <laughs> uh, this will be on, okay, the murder. What do we have? Examination. Oh, oh, Talk you're just going to. Nightingale's body can tell us. New thingy. Oh, wait. Body's been prepped, ready for examination. I'm going to move over like this. I hope it can provide some actual answers. All right. <sighs> Chest ripped open, something visible inside. As I suspected, it looks like something was put in there. Uh, will you elaborate? Bruise from defensive wounds? Um, that had nothing to do with the cause of death. Right? I would just... Does it not go right there? Looks like Nightingale put up a fight before they restrained him. Okay, I thought that would have been, like, a different category. Smudged text under the victim's skin. Oh, oh so that goes over here. Ritual writing. Is this some kind of tattoo? It's too smudged to read. Uh, bloated joints... Yeah, yeah. Chest wound is cause of death. 
but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Victim was alive, well, was alive when strapped down. Timeline is inconsistent with bloating. He was already dead when he came up from the lake. I think that, maybe. Oh, I have to sneeze again. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Did the killers write this on the heart? How? I can't make out what it says. How do the killers have time? Doesn't make sense. That, that's... Uh, now you're asking the real questions. Oh, and of course. Okay, that was added. Uh, leave. Oh god. Is that a manuscript page? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Barehanded. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Oh. Uh oh. Well, now I know it's Aaron Ashmore. Oh, he's gone. Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. Oh, hell yeah. This is way more creepy. He's coming. No weapon. The page is set to get into the light. Yeah. Way more creepy than the first game, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know about scary yet, but try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Also, you can heal in the light. Uh, he can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Oh, but he's out in the hall now. Safe havens will restore some of your health. Uh, if you leave or attack from a safe haven, well, in combat, it will temporarily become unavailable. Oh, so you can't, you can't like farm, I couldn't stand in here with a gun and shoot. Uh, but, oh, oh he, she said go. Get it! Wait, I don't have to, holy shit. Okay, ho hold on, hold on. I was not prepared for that. Uh... Uh, I was, uh, <laughs> this is not how the story goes. Interesting. Uh, I was assuming it was going to do the little, like, thing where you, you had to keep pointing the light at them and then make them vulnerable and then shoot them. But no, you can just shoot them, apparently. 
Oh, I gotta... Can I skip this? Okay. Then I can hide in the light again. I'll, I'll get my gun back. Alright, so... Uh, it is way more sensitive than I thought. Oh my god. Chapter, huh? Damn. Uh, that was that was great. Good, good first chapter. What's going on here? Uh, obviously this is more than likely muted. Uh, but I do want to see if anything's gonna show up here during this. I kind of want to listen to it, too. So you can just hit continue to skip the copyright songs instead of them being kind of randomly incorporated. It's a good song, though. You know, this song sounds like it might be safe. Was this written for this game? This seems like it was written for this. I'm like captivated by the music. Personally, like, this style of music is just very... I I enjoy that style of music a lot. So, like, I just... Yeah. <laughs> very, very appropriate. I really... I don't know if I can actually show it. That's why I stayed he silent there. Heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just... Disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. So yeah, like I... 
if I if I skipped all that, I apologize. If I didn't, then I was probably dead silence, and and I apologize. But it was a good song. <laughs> uh, we were attacked by a no dead man. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. They're just immediately believing. Thank God. Is this the work of the, the cult? The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Sure. Right before what things happened? got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Okay. Look around for clues. I know we have stuff we can put. Yeah, hold on. I know we have stuff we can put, but I'll, I'll wait till I find this. It's going to be an older page, right? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Hmm. This page called this area and overlap wait ah uh, this was read out loud we didn't actually like this was during the cutscene the, the cutscene one you find yourself trapped on the far side of a mirror Like I had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap finding a way in would be difficult required precise steps Apparently, Nightingale's actually going to be important. I, I was starting to wonder about that. Let's just throw that the down there. turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. I love it because it's very similar to the first game, and I didn't, I didn't think we'd go in this direction, but... It's not similar in a bad way. It's similar in a good way. Uh, Nightingale attacked us. A corpse attacked us. I used his sensitivity to light to fight him off, but he got away. I need to hunt him down and figure out what the hell is going on here. <laughs> According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake. And he's a taken? Mm-hmm. Right. The overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. Oh, they will, maybe. Uh, what do we got here? The cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. I guess we could say cult goals, then? Yeah, that would be a cult goal. I don't have any explanation for this. How are they doing this? What the hell is going on here? Yeah. Uh, this goes under this category? I guess you'd put it under psychology, right? No? Maybe maybe symbols? Or what kind of cult are they? Okay, maybe it is under cult goals. Oh, oh, it is that. Uh, so, uh, text tattooed on the victims. Manuscript page found inside. Writing has some significance here. Yeah. He was, he was the only monster, or the only victim to become a monster. That you know of. That would be... That would be a cult goal? What, what would you consider that? Oh. I guess you could just spam until you get it. 
Is murder match the other victims? Why didn't they become monsters too? God, he looks so different. Wait. Oh, this one has four pieces. Oh, you can hover to see how many are missing. Uh, this is victim of cult killing became a monster. Uh, maybe back under goals. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Radio? Oh, you can listen to the song again. I feel like that was that song was written for the game. The the lyrics were very on point, I guess. Why didn't you Oh, probably cuz I died. Uh, let's the go back. Page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. No, that's all he's got to say on that. Like, I'm, I'm out, I'm done. Can't be opened on this side. We need to find the... The... Koskalas brothers. So we can... <laughs> Uh, get one of those those bolt cutters. Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's all they have to say. You know what? Around here, that's probably just normal. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Well, yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like, poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. <laughs> Magic's not real. Right, Mulligan? No, Thornton. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not real. I knew that. Checking to make sure I'm still waiting for me to go away to talk. Can't open this with my bare hands. <sighs> I want to go in there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I missed something. Oh. Oh my god, I'm just all over the place here. Can I reload my gun now, or do I have to, like... I guess I, I, I can't take it out. What if I, like... Oh. Can't do anything. Mm, they're a fine pair. <laughs> Everything's just normal down here. Or up here. Nothing? No, no, nothing from anyone? Hello. My client has been held here long enough. Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Oh, is it that guy? How many times do we have to do I this, want Walter? Out. Something huh? bad's going down. Let my wits end with you. Let me out! <laughs> One of you is their client. Okay, let's get out of here. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Mayor Seto won't roll over on the issues. Won't roll over, huh? It's a very vague way to put it. 
You don't know which side they stand. They just won't roll over on it. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Can I just... Can I just go back and forth like normal? Uh, wait, no. Did I read that? Private and public use. Reopened in 2016. It was t carefully taken apart in 2015. Okay, so it had nothing to do with the first game. I just never saw this place so in the first game. Wait, so I can... I don't think... Oh, I never found a map in the sheriff's station? I bet I, I could have. Damn. There is another... Oh, they're just pointing this out. Okay, so we we've already seen these two. Anyways, it turns out we can we can fast travel back and forth by the sounds of it. Um Right fall, right future. I should probably wait till the next episode for that. Because uh it kinda seems like well, it's it's actually almost gonna be nighttime by the time we get there, and I think things are gonna kick up in a minute here. So uh, so far, this has been that 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 part with with Nightingale waking or getting up. That was legit. Had a somewhat of a scary factor to it. I I wasn't expecting it. Like honestly, in the first game, when everyone came out and they just looked so simple as enemies, like it it just didn't scare me. Like n nothing about that was even slightly frightening. But that one was very creepy and very like I don't know. It looked cool. I, I'm excited uh, to see what they do. I'm not a big horror fan guy myself, but uh, part of me wishes that I was. So I'm I'm hoping that this could help <laughs> move me into that a little bit. We'll see. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.